Hello everybody, Chef Bob here and today I'm going to show you one of the fastest, easiest ways to roast a turkey for the holiday season. And what I have here is a about a 20 pound turkey that I've thawed and I've rinsed it thoroughly with cold water. I removed all of the parts from the inside, the neck, uh, the liver, etc. And this one also came with a, a, a gravy packet. So I removed all of these and I'm going to use those a little later. So right now I have a dried turkey, thawed dried turkey and I'm going to be using an oven bag. You may have used this in the past. I'm just going to show you some tips to make it more flavorful and help you to get a little better result. So what I have is a collection of spices and some melted butter and coconut oil. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to make the little spice mix. Now the instructions just call for one tablespoon of flour. So we're going to start with that. We have one tablespoon of flour. To that I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of uh, black pepper, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Here I have a half teaspoon of rosemary and thyme. And here I have one quarter teaspoon of onion powder. I'm just going to whisk these together quickly. So now we have a flavorful mix instead of just plain flour. What we'll do is, we're going to use this for two purposes. One will be to dust the inside of the bag, and the second one will be to coat the turkey. So it has a lot more flavor as it roasts instead of just a plain turkey with flour on the outside. It doesn't sound too appealing. So, per the instructions, I'll add one tablespoon of this mixture one tablespoon to the inside of the bag and now just shake it around get it distributed throughout the bag this helps to prevent the bag from sticking and clinging a little bit and it also helps you to uh, at the end when it makes the gravy all those juices will mix with this and add a more flavorful gravy. Again, just adding flour wouldn't produce a flavorful gravy at all. So we have that mixed throughout the bag. Now, let's go to the next step. I have a blend of uh, butter and coconut oil. You can just use uh, butter or you can use olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you have on hand. I just want to put a light coating of this to help the seasonings stick and also to give it just a little more flavor and help seal in some juices even more. And I'm just going to coat it, you know, get the wings, get the insides of the wings here, get the legs. Outside of the wing, get inside here. Try to get it all over. Okay. I think I have it covered pretty well. Okay. Now, we'll take the rest of this uh, seasoning spice mix and just coat it coat the bird with it. You can rub it in. Think of it as a dry rub. I'm just going to use my hands now and try to pat it on here just like you would a dry rub if you were making a, a smoked brisket or something with a dry rub. Just rub it in here. Don't be afraid of it. Just rub it in. Okay. Now, now we'll put it in the bag. We're almost finished. That was the hard part. 
Oh, now, what you can do also is if you're going to uh, stuff the turkey and prepare your stuffing mix and insert it into the bird, into the cavity, I'm not going to put a stuffing in here. I'm going to make that separately. And that's when I'll use these parts. I'll cook these parts separately. And uh, maybe I'll make a video on that. But right now, we're going to put the turkey in here. Just take your time. This is fairly easy. You see, I put my hand inside to make it real easy to just get that bird in there. Oh, his wing's sticking out. He wants to fly away. <laughs> okay. Now I have a roasting pan here, and I'm going to leave the roasting rack in here. This is how I like to do it. Put it like so. Okay, and now, use the, the plastic tie that they give you in the package. Tie it off. Pull this tight. And, and this is 20 pounds. I believe uh, 20 pounds will take about three and a half hours. So I'll meet you back here when it's finished and we'll take a look and see the results. Okay, we're back. It's been only three hours and I've checked with the temperature probe and we're more than 180 degrees, which is the minimum temperature you'll need for a turkey. So I've let it cool a little bit and I can see it's a beautiful brown color right now. And let's open it up. Now, one thing what I do is, the reason I still use a large roasting pan when I do it in the bag, is I'm gonna slice this open and I'm going to keep all of the drippings. And it's still hot, but I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of drippings in here which are gonna make fantastic gravy. I'm not going to make the gravy right now. I may make another video of that. But I just want to let you know that I'll slice this on the top pull out the turkey and save the drippings in the roasting pan. So I'm just going to try to slice this bag open. Try not to make a mess. Okay. And now, this is very hot and I'm Sure, it's going to try to fall apart, so I'm going to use my wolf claws and try to get it out of here in one piece. It might just fall apart on me. I'm trying to separate the bag from the skin right now. Sometimes it sticks, especially on the wings. In fact, I see that now before I even pull it out. There we go. That wing is free, and I think that one is free. So let's give it a try. Ooh. <laughs> As you can see there's steam coming off here. This is still very, very hot. Slide this out of the way so you can get a good look. There you have it. Beautifully golden brown. Sorry about that. Beautifully golden brown roast turkey. Look at that. Super easy to make. Uh, you saw the tricks I used. I coated it with butter and then with the seasoning mix. And there you have it. A beautiful roast turkey. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Please press like and subscribe. Thank you.